The first question comes from Circuit the Fox. Oh, Circuit, it has been a while. How do you do, poor old buddy? All right. Now then, let's get to your question. Because for some reason, I, lo I lost it. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Dojo Dingo? Okay, the, you have to apparently emphasize it with a D, a the. What are your thoughts on the Dojo Dingo leaving the furry fandom? Okay, this is actually something that I'm kind of saddened about because, I mean, with what I had seen, um, now, now keep in mind of the context here for some of those who aren't familiar with the situation. When I first in, had met and seen and heard of Dojo, that's when I started hearing of these people um, who were pretty much the what has been described as the uh, rise of the communist furries because some of these people had were distributing uh, communist literature around and basically trying to just make everything in the furry fandom you know, furry fandom has been about communism this whole time, apparently. Um, and I, I don't see how in the world that's even uh, a thing. Um, I mean, I've met people of all types and all branches, and I've, I've gathered from furries, um, especially my experience with them at conventions, that it's all about, you know, you're unique, you're yourself, and you get to wear an animal suit only, only if you have the money to put it to get one though um but so yeah i i i I've tried um looking into the whole thing and when i did i eventually for some reason get put on a blacklist um by a couple of these people because they say you know oh guess what you're a nazi how am I not seeing? I've spoken out against racism. I've spoken out against uh, favoritism over racism and inequality. I mean, to me, when I see these people who decided to label me a Nazi, to me, and especially the fact that people were like cheering um, for, you know, Dojo Dingo leaving the fandom, to me, that's like, hey, you know what? If I didn't know any better, I would have said that the furry fandom, especially with people like, you know, the people that have tried to put me on the uh, the, alt, the alt furry block list, like Chip Fox and uh, what's, a, what's, what's that person's name? Um, uh, Dogpatch Press, that these guys were Nazis that hated hum humankind and that they were, um, you know, homophobic... Uh, bigots and racists i uh, to be i would have come to that conclusion just based on that kind of action alone um that's being done because it, it, it's just an extreme sense of division that's been going on and this isn't the first type of fandom or community that has gone through this and that's why i hate this um happening um and i wish there would be some peace, some reconciliation that goes on to where there, while there's differences, there can be um, that we can have this unity, that we cannot have this much fighting uh, while still being partially divided on issues. But for the cause, then boom, you got something that's going. Because to me, this is the issue and why I preach the gospel is not just simply to um, show what uh saving souls is like from the power of god's gospel from christ's gospel message but it is also to show the kindness and the caring compassion and love that one delivers as you do this which is of no discrimination and uh no differences and when i try to actually do that because i actually tried at one point to uh you know get a gospel-centered conversation going with Dojo Dingo. Um, and then the same thing with some other people, as well as, uh, what's his name? Uh, Foxler, uh, the guy who was on here for like a brief time at one point, um, af shortly after I had gotten on the block list. Um, you know, that uh, I would hope to preach the gospel to Foxler and that, you know, if there's any sins and things that's going on in his life and he hasn't believed, which I think is the case. I don't think he's a believer and I definitely know that his uh, 
his boyfriend isn't. Um, so I hope to preach and evangelize and do apologetics with these guys to get them to convert. And then people are condemning that. It's people saying, no, you, you shouldn't uh, try to convert him. He's, he's too foul. He's too wicked uh, for that. It's best to keep him out of it. I'm like, are you kidding me? Where did Jesus draw the line? Where did Paul draw the line? Where did Peter draw the line? I mean, it's just the fact that these people are wanting to separate them at this. And this is where it goes back to where the question is. You no, know, what do I think about Dojo Dingo getting kicked out or, or not getting kicked out that he left the fandom because of all the crap that goes on? Sorry, you have strong language there, but that is we've got to call it what it is. Is this garbage that is ruining and will eventually kill the fandom? It's happened to other places, whether it be different political parties, whether it be other different fandoms that have existed over the centuries, and other uh, areas where a topic, a, an idea like that, where you're dividing this much, can lead to the death of the thing you love so much. And we don't need that over a stupid issue. So there's my thoughts, is that this whole thing is, with all due respect... Uh, stupid. And if you want to quote me on that one, uh, Mr. Uh, Dogpatch Press, feel free to do so.